Alright, today on the bench we've got a HP server power supply which I purchased off eBay in working condition. As you can see, it's far from that. It's clearly got an issue. Let's open it up and see if we can get it to go. So the first thing I'm going to do here is check the easy components. I'm going to start off with the diodes and a couple of the capacitors. Now I've got to warn you, there's extremely high voltages in this video. Don't mess with them. They could kill you and then I might have to laugh. No, really. Don't mess with it if you don't know what you're doing. So here I'm gonna check the capacitors near the feedback and sort of monitoring circuitry. If one of them is um, knackered, well, then maybe that circuitry is not firing up. It sounds to me like the power supply is continuously trying to restart. They all checked out fine. There's no obvious marks burns or anything like that on this power supply. But have a look at this. This is the main filter capacitor. Now, I know that this Keithley multimeter doesn't read that high in capacitance, but I can tell you it's supposed to be higher than that. Is it something in circuit that's messing with it? Let's find out. Let's rip the bastard out. So this Keysight LCR meter can definitely read capacitors with a value that high. And clearly we have a problem here. So now I'm going to go through a couple other power supplies to see what we can salvage. Alright, looks like we have a winner. Let's get it out of there. This power supply has a problem as well. Might take a look at it in a future video. For now, we're going to rate it for parts. Close enough for Australia. Just solder in some jumper leads. You want to be very careful doing this. This is after the rectifier. There's extremely high voltages here. Plenty to kill you. Alright, clear your bench off a bit and we're going to hook up the uh, multimeter, the bench meter there you can see on screen and I've jumped the power supply so it should start now. Moment of truth. Keep your eyes on the meter, we're going to flick on the mains. Will the magic smoke come out? Hey, look at that. 12.24 volts, not too shabby. We also have a green LED. I reckon we'll be replacing this capacitor and turning this into a useful benchtop power supply. It's capable of a lot of current. Until next time, catch you later. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Cheers.